homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today I've got a little problem. Uh, this hydrant, this frost free hydrant, is uh, leaking. Now, it's not leaking down in the ground. It's, it's leaking up here uh, when you turn it off. <coughs> when that's up like that, of course, it's running. It leaks right here at where the stem goes in. But when you cut it off now, and it's been leaking there for quite a while. I've just, in typical homesteader fashion, I've just dealt with it and didn't worry about it. But now... When you cut it off, it's leaking all the way down in. Let me know that the little plunger down at the bottom is not uh, working anymore. So what I've got to do is I've got to either replace or repair. Well, what I've opted for is repair. You can buy these little hydrant repair kits. This came from, uh, from uh, Tractor Supply. They've got a black one, they've got a blue one, and they've got a red one. And, uh, of course, this is the black one. But this hydrant repair kit that you buy, it's $38. This unit is about $70, tax and all. Uh, but, uh, I would replace the entire unit except for one little thing. I put this bucket, I put a bucket down here and filled it with concrete to give it some more stability. Because the original homeowner that dug the lines here, is only about a foot deep, so it didn't have enough stability to hold on good when I was using it. So what I did was, I put a big rock here, then I poured, then I put a, a tractor supply bucket that I turned upside down and filled it with concrete over top of it. So in order to move that, I'd have to get rid of the bucket and the whole bit. Well, it's just as easy to use one of these repair kits. So uh, it gives you an option in here I'll come over and show you but one thing I do want to complain tractor supply gives you this repair kit but the instructions are for the installation of a of a unit it's not for repair of the unit the instructions have absolutely nothing to do with what's in the kit it has to do with how to install this how to install the entire unit but it doesn't talk about the guts at all. I don't, I don't understand that. It doesn't even have an exploded diagram. You'd think it would at least have that, but it doesn't have that either. So I had to go to YouTube and look some things up. Uh, I've never done this before, so I might screw it up. That's just the way it is when you're homesteading. You know, I've never done it before, so I need, let's see, that's for the blue head. That's for both, and I don't think I'll even need this part. But I'll put it in my pocket here anyway. And that's for the blackhead. Let me show you. This is what comes in the parts package. Of course, here's this absolutely useless manual. Absolutely 100% useless. There's not even, that's as close as you get to an exploded diagram, but there ain't no exploded diagram there. You know, it's all just stuck together. So, these were absolutely useless. So you have to look up how to use this on the, on the internet. So, inside this parts bag, there are two O-rings are just like this two o-rings that go in where the slide slides up and down and then it gives you uh, parts for the set screws and that kind of thing I don't think I'll even need those <clears throat> and then it gives you this this is uh, what goes in and seals the water this is the plunger down to bottom so Let's get over here and get this head apart. I probably won't talk a lot during this one. I've already talked a lot. Uh, but I probably won't talk a lot during this one because if I talk when I'm doing stuff, uh, 
that I've never done before, inevitably I make a mistake or I tell you something wrong. So I'm just going to try and keep my big mouth shut. That's going to be real hard. Okay, let's get at it. Oh, blubber. Let's see. That should turn that way to loosen. <clears throat> well, gonna be that way. Got to get another pipe wrench. I'm going to have to try that. I can't wrench it off. Oh. Let that sit for a while. Okay, time for some gentle persuasion. All these guys I watch do this on the internet, they just twist it right off like it was nothing. <clears throat> there we go. It's loose. Now let's see if I can. That looks okay. So let's say, oh, spider alert. There he is. Come out of there. Come on. Okay, he came out. Okay, let's get this screw off. 
Let me turn you up here where you can see a little better. Well, I think I'm going to take this in the workshop. Okay, you ought to be able to see a little bit better. That's brought in here and set it on the saw table. I know I've got to change the the uh, things down in here so hopefully I can put that back on without uh, without any trouble so we're gonna try it this way and see what happens there was no like I said there was no instruction so I'm just winging this by the seat of my pants I have no idea what I'm doing Down in here, there ought to be two O-rings. So I'm going to take a flat blade screwdriver and try and get those out. There's one. Oh, looks like I got both of them at the same time. Looks like there's two, and they're just there's no no groove. Let's see if I can get that old ring see it. There's no groove for both. So there's one down in there that seats down against this little lip right here. And then the other one sits on top of it and it's pressed in. It's pressed down by this. So let's get those O-rings in. I don't know if I want to put the O-rings in without having this bar on. So let's go ahead and put the... Uh, I tell you what, I just about don't want to put a new end on that, but as sure as I don't, there'll be a problem. So I'm going to take this off. Let me go over here and get me a, a wrench I can do that with. Now, there is something that bothered me for a minute. This right here. Uh, but... You'll notice it dips in, but after I look at it, right here is where those O-rings go. So they ride up and down right there. So that's not going to affect it one way or the other one. So apparently there's a, a push rod right here that you can get for these two that screws onto this. But yeah, that's something different. Okay. Now, let's get this end off. Got me a couple of pair of channel locks. Put one right there. Open this pair up a little.
got that off. All right, now let's get my parts kit out. Wrong thing. I'm not replacing those. And I'm not going to replace this or this. If something happens later and I need to replace those, I will, but for today I'm not going to do that. I just don't see any reason to take this thing all the way apart. So now, those old O-rings are flat. And I don't know if they're flat because they're just wore out. Okay, I don't know if they were round at one time, but these are flat and these are round. So you wouldn't be able to confuse them. These old rings are flat and the new old rings are round, so you wouldn't be able to confuse them none. So I'm gonna make sure and look at the the difference here. Is there a difference between this one and this one? No, they're identical. So it doesn't make any difference about this piece all right so let's put the new head on just screws on so easy and the other one come off so hard now the little pliers here buckled on me when i was trying to take it off another pair of pliers these are these have come apart that might tighten up some more let's see. Now, I'm going to put this back in the thing because I'm afraid that if I try and put those O-rings in while this is out, I might mess up. So, put this back in there like that. And now I'm going to place those O-rings. And I'm just going to use a flat blade screwdriver to push them in. Okay, that's one. Seat it all the way down. Now put the second one on. Come on. Yeah. It's being that way. Now the second one will go in there. Once I get it pushed in, then this screws in. What I 
don't want to do, what I don't want to do, is get this too tight to begin with, or, or cross thread it. You ever over tightened an O-ring? I used to work on stuff all the time that had O-rings, and I learned real quick that if you over tighten an O-ring, you can really, really, really mess up. So I'm going to put this in there just as tight as I think it has to be. I'm going to just snug it in. And then after I turn the water back on, if I have to tighten it up some more, I'll do that. But for right now, I am just going to snug it up. Is you can always I just put it down on the floor, pushed it back up in there. Now, this is going to go up and down. Okay, so really what I want to do is I want to seat this in the, in the pipe and push it all the way down. Then I want to tighten this up. So... I want to make sure that it's all the way down in there to hold it tight. Let's put a little thread tape on this so it won't be so blasted hard to get off next time. Let's see, it needs to go that way. This Teflon tape cuts down on leaks but it also acts as a kind of anti-seize. Keep this from being so hard to take apart the next time. Okay, just a little bit. I don't need a lot. Now let's put that back in. I want to feel that bottom out in there. And it is. Okay, that's probably enough. Might need to be tightened up a little later, but we know that this is bottomed out. So I'm going to take this. Go down.
must not be bottomed out. Well, maybe the angle is such that it can't. So let's take this loose and let it go down. That broke, this little brass fitting. That may have been part of the problem altogether. It may have been cracked for a while, because if I'm looking at that, that looks like not fresh break. Okay? Looks like it might have broke earlier. That might have been part of the leak problem. So, let's get this, uh, get the new one put, put on there, I guess. I didn't want to do that, but I don't have any choice. this on it'll go on looks like I'm gonna have to knock it down again need a tail Got it on. Let it set out this way. There's the new handles. There's my other handle. Just one. Just snug. But the handle works right. Now, it's all the way down. Oh, what do I do with that screw? There it is. It's all the way down right now. I want to lift it up just a little bit. Tighten this set screw. Make it go down. Up, down.
Okay, now it's time to go turn on the water. Okay, with the pressure low, I went ahead and, and moved everything. I cut the pressure way back so that I could adjust this thing. It was real finicky about shutting off the pressure. But I've got it now to where it's running and it's turning off. Now I just have to check it for the pressure. So with the pressure all the way up. Now, if you like this stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff all the time. Uh, I used to say we did a video every week, but I do a video as often as I can. And that's uh, where I'm going to leave it at. Uh, I do a video as often as I can. So, uh, whew. be certain to, to like and subscribe. Now it's time for me to get on to the next thing. Ooh.